Hi everyone and welcome back. On today's video is gonna be a little different because I wanna make a point across, so stick with me. Also, I have a super cool announcement to make for you guys that I think that you're gonna appreciate this a lot. So stick around till the end and enjoy this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Sorry I was super busy on Wednesday to post a video but we have here the Friday tutorial. But uh, right before we get started I didn't get any time to eat so I'm just gonna make something really quick and then we'll go ahead with our tutorial. It's very easy to cook because I already know what I like, right? I know the food that I like. So I'm gonna just make me something really quick and then we'll continue with the sketching. So I know I like Cocoa Puffs. That's an easy one. I like milk. A little bit of bananas. But there's still room for some more stuff. So I definitely know I like ketchup. A little bit of mustard. Peanut butter. I have to use my finger here, it's kind of stuck. Who doesn't like Nutella, right? That's an easy one again. Nutella. Pretty healthy, right? So let's make this healthy. Put some lettuce. And how can you eat something without any cheese on it, right? Cheese is essential. Put a little bit of ham. We mix it. I was so hungry, let's eat something. It's actually not that good. I put everything I like on it. Why can't it be just good? That is gross. <laughs> nah, I can't do this.
Okay, so I hope this is easy for you to understand. Um, not because it looks good on one car, it means that it's gonna look good on every other car. Another thing that I see a lot with beginner designers is that you try to fit as many possible features as you can. And I even see cars that make it to production, like some like local small company supercars, where you can tell that they're just trying too hard, putting too many things on it, just making it oversaturated. Most of the best designs are like simple and clean and elegant, and the things that are attached to the car are really good at working together as a whole, not as like a like you went to Pet Boys or Walmart and you just bought every single thing they sold and just stick it on the car. And that's important when you do your sketches and your designs, make sure that you keep it simple. Try one or two features that you like, but don't put 10 of them. Next week, we're actually gonna start doing some color. I know everybody's like really, really ready to do color. So I'll start with the basics of color next week. Today's was one of my last line tutorials. And then um, hopefully that will help you develop better cars that you can color later because you don't want to start coloring cars that are ugly because it's just a waste of time. So I've been getting two requests a lot. One is for you guys to have a place to share your sketches, show me what you've been learning and doing and also just your own talent without any of my teachings or whatever. But the thing is we'll, be, we'll have a place where you can upload them and we can all look at them and give you feedback and we all get better that way, right? You can see where the level of the other people are and the higher the level that gets, everybody's just gonna get better. So don't get discouraged if you see things that are like really awesome. The other cool thing is that on my website for by next Wednesday, I'm gonna have a few templates that you can use. So I'm gonna give you a link to download them on Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe to the video and you see it on Wednesday and you're gonna be able to download some templates for wheels, car proportions, side view, front three quarters, rear three quarters, and I'll keep uploading with the different videos and tutorials that I'll do. I'll keep uploading different templates to that website. So stay tuned and that will all be coming on Wednesday, okay? Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get something out of me getting food poisoning. So I hope that makes the point across and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe to get every week another new video. See you guys on Wednesday.